Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the second to last box in the Year of Sanderson, the Stormlight box. And I'm pretty excited for this because, I mean, this is his biggest franchise, and you don't want to mess up the box related to your biggest franchise. And the Mistborn box is the best one so far, and that's his second biggest franchise, so I mean, this one, it's got to be good, right? Well, we're about to find out. So, first up, we've got our wit quote, and this one says, You are not worse for your association with the world, but it is better for its association with you. And to start things off, we've got our spoiler warning card, and it says, Rashar, life on this rocky planet is harsh and unforgiving, but the ancient oaths have at last been spoken, bringing long-awaited hope. And our first item is going to be the Bridge 4 Designer Satchel, which must be this. And I assume this is kind of our premier item of the box. So let me go ahead and open it up, and then I'll read you what it's about. All right, so... Quality textiles, including faux leather, make this custom bag a thing of beauty. Whether you're on a bridge run or on a romp through the realms, with this on your shoulder, you'll always be ready to take the next step. Alright, so right off, this is a quality bag. On the front, you have the Bridge 4 symbol. Um, got a pocket here. And then you also have the main bag opening, which has a divider. So, I mean, you definitely have some options. Um, and inside, you've got the strap. I'll throw that on here in a minute. Um, there's also a zipper section here that says Stormlight for even more uh, customization for where you want to put stuff. Oh, and it seems on the back, you have another symbol, which looks like the Stormlight symbol, the same symbol that's actually on my shirt right now. And I will... Go ahead and throw the strap on so that we can see what it looks like. Alright, and there we go. That's what the bag looks like when it's completed. Now, it is a very cool bag, but once again, I'm not much of a bag person, so this is not exactly the premier item that I wanted, but I will say that the quality is there. And for those who would use bags like these, I mean, who doesn't want a Stormlight bag, right? So we'll set that over there and move on to the next item. Which is going to be the Oathbringer bottle opener. Now, I already like the idea of this because, you know, we all know that uh, Dalinar is a bit of a, uh, you know, drunkard. Or used to be. So it makes sense that he gets a bottle opener. Which must be this. Oh, <laughs> right off I can already tell it's his... Uh, shard blade so this is already gonna be a pretty cool bottle opener this I actually will use not because I'm a drunkard but because I do enjoy the occasional beer so the priceless blade that freed a thousand bridgemen is now yours to decapitate <laughs> I like that decapitate bottles oh how the mighty have fallen so I would assume that you use the actual blade itself to pop the bottle open. And then this is a keychain part, possibly? Yeah. So you can use it as a keychain. So that's pretty nifty. It is actually very good quality. I like the silver metallic shine to it. And it's got some heft to it. I will definitely use this. So we'll set that over here. Need something to prop that up with. Alright, so next up we have Rashar Air Fresheners. Which must be these right here. Which are actually packaged really nicely. So I feel kind of bad having to open these up. But, that's what I gotta do for you guys. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and read what these are. 
with all new beautiful custom art, these air fresheners come in fragrances of Larkin, Orange, Chol, Leather, and Windsprint, Rain. So on the depictions, we have the Larkin, which I did not even know what this creature was. I had to do a Google search because I didn't remember. And apparently it absorbs Stormlight or something and it's very rare. So it's like a uh, shell-like crab creature which has wings and I assume is pretty small. And then we've got the extremely recognizable Sill, or maybe it's just a wind sprint in general, but it looks similar to Sill. And all of these designs have like an abstract look to them. It looks like she's above the Shattered Plains, which is pretty cool. And then we have a Chol, which is like a giant hermit crab looking thing. So, can't go wrong with these, except uh, I won't be using them because I can't actually smell. <laughs> I wasn't uh, born with that sense. So, not the best for me, but I do like the designs. Next up, we have the Cosmere character pin. Ooh, and there's actually a bonus coming up. So we'll start with the pin, though. The Cosmere character pin this time around is going to be Sill. Riding the winds of postal carriers everywhere, we have gone to great lengths to send you a tiny piece of a god. Please welcome pin number 11, Sill. And I mean... Come on, you can't go wrong with Sill, right? Everybody loves Sill. And that is a pretty adorable pin. So I'll zoom in on that here in a little bit. And finally, as a bonus, probably because you know this is the Stormlight box, we gotta throw in a bonus, you get a town miniature. Which I assume is from the Brother Wise, yeah it is, the Brother Wise Games miniature set. This is town. Brotherwise Games announced during their Stormlight Miniatures Kickstarter that they would include a town mini in a secret project swag box. Their other minis are just as awesome. Check them out. So as a little bonus, let's pop this open and see what these miniatures look like. I don't know, like a sneak peek at the set that's coming out soon. Which I also will probably do an unboxing video for because I did buy it all. Just like I did for this. Alright. see what we got here. I do like the... Uh, before I actually get into this. I do like the packaging. The packaging of this is perfect. So. Open it up. Inside the plastic. Oh. Already dropping. Fail. We have Town. Now, as you can see, these miniatures are the smaller versions. These are the ones that you got to paint. And they are very miniature, so we're going to have to zoom in on that. But it is fairly detailed for how small it is. I mean, you can see the intricacies of his armor. I mean, obviously, his face is not, like, super detailed. It's hard to, hard to get that detailed when it's that small. And then he's even standing on a rocky textured ground yeah I mean I, I like this this is this is pretty fancy so that was a nice little bonus
so this pretty much concludes our unboxing for the 11th box in the year of Sanderson, the Stormlight Archive box. Um, hard to believe there's just one more to go, but I would say that this is definitely up there in my rankings of the boxes. Probably not my favorite, mostly because while I recognize the quality of the bag, and I do like it, not something I'm going to actually use. I will just display it somewhere and it'll be a cool feature piece. Um, kind of wanted like a collectible Stormlight thing for the premiere item, which I guess the Oathbringer Shardblade, Dalinar Shardblade, kind of gives me that. And it is something I'll use, but uh, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't complain too much since we're going to be getting the Brotherwise Stormlight Archive collectible miniatures, which will have something for me to display. Um, which was pretty cool that we got the little bonus with Town. Otherwise, I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with this box. Maybe not my favorite, but I think it's in the upper echelon of the boxes. Uh, so, for more Cosmere Vested content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time.